this is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip is buying polymer clay. Now when you're buying polymer clay, it's important to buy as fresh a clay as possible, and I've got a few tips that will help you do that. Now when you're buying polymer clay online, it is difficult to go and squeeze the package, so there's a few things that you have to keep in mind. First of all, the time of the year. I never order polymer clay during the summertime because if um, I order it, it'll sit on the airplane, especially here when being in Canada, it has to come spend a fair amount of time coming to get here. It can sit in the airplane on the tarmac, it can sit in the back of the truck, and if it's hot, it will partially bake and your clay will arrive all hard and unworkable. So um, keep that in mind, um, even if you're in a different part of the world where your uh, temperature might be cool, the place that you're ordering your clay from might be hot. So make sure you're ordering your clay on the so shoulder seasons, like fall or spring, when it's cooler in the place that you're ordering from and your own place that you're at. Another thing to keep in mind is the packaging. Packaging changes from year to year and, or not necessarily from year to year, but over time. And if you're ordering on a place like eBay or something where you're buying a bunch of uh, a bulk lot of clay, you can make the mistake of buying some old clay without really realizing it. And you can, one clue is the packaging. Um, this is an old package of Primo and these are the new packaging. You can see it's changed quite a bit over time. Here are some really old packages of Sculpey 3. These ones I mistakenly bought on eBay a long time ago. And you can see this has changed quite a bit from here to here to here. This is the new one. These are the old. Fimo has also changed over the years. Um, I have some rock hard Fimo that what it has German written all over it. So, um, Clearly it was before they were making it for the North American market. And this is some of the newer packaging. I don't know if there's some even newer packaging than this. I don't buy Fimo very often. So that's something to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is that the, um, sometimes a company will discontinue a line. Studio by Sculpey was discontinued a couple years ago now. And so obviously anything that you buy of Studio by Sculpey is not going to be fresh. Though it was a good product and if it was stored properly, this one here has a little give to it. I think it'll be fine to work with. I just wanted you to keep that in mind. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that if you can buy it in person, that's best, and you can give it a squeeze. It should have some give to it. This is a very fresh block. It's only a month or two old, or a few months, three or four months, but it, it's quite soft. Some of the brands like Kato, uh, Polyclay, are firmer anyways, but it should have some give to it. I use a, a test of kind of squeezing your hands. There's some give there, but it's firm inside, and you know, that will make a big difference. If it's rock hard, like these old Fimos, when you open it up, this stuff will crumble into dust. And although I could use it for maybe making some faux stones or something, it would be extremely difficult to use it for sculpting or anything. It's pretty much too far gone. Now, one last tip is that some of the packaging has like Primo and Sculpey 3 have these little codes printed on them. Uh, you can f find them along the sides here. Um, these ones are more visible here. And they are, though I haven't had official confirmation, from what I can tell, these are dates that they've been manufactured in. So this number here, 1101, would mean that it was done in uh, 2011 in the first month. I believe this is the date. 03 would be the day and then 04 would probably be the um, lot number. I know this to be pretty accurate without official confirmation that because of I got this pack of Sculpey 3 in 2011, I bought this one at, in 2012 and I just picked this one up. So and this one was 2000. Uh, 12 in, in December. So um, that would really make sense with how squishy it is compared to the other ones. So I thought 
I would just show you how to buy your polymer clay so that you're getting the right kind of products. And my question for you is, have you ever mistakenly bought a old block of clay and do you think these tips would have helped you avoid that? Leave your comment in the Leave your answer in the comment section below. That would be great. And don't forget to click that like button if this was helpful for you. And I will see you another time. Bye for now.